football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. De Bruyne. Foden. On to Walker. Really determined play to hang on to it. It needs an accurate cross. Holland. Just the challenge that was required. Gabriel Jesus. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Well, they're getting right on top of their opponents at every turn. And he might be through here. Keeper did his job to begin with. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Cuts it back. Rodri. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Martin Odegaard. Lots of space for Arsenal. Crossing opportunity. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And a short corner, let's see. Dangerous ball. Was it a great clearance? Kai Havertz. Still possibilities. Smuggled away. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And lining it up. It's a perfect challenge. Ederson. Gvardiol. The ball back with Arsenal now. Ben White. And he did well to cut it out. Trying to open them up. Holland. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. And a textbook interception. Rodri. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Arsenal's free kick here. Bukayo Saka. It's with Erdogan. Ben White. And Kai Havertz. Nice. And a chance for the lead. And it has a the opening statement in this UEFA Champions League final. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say.
Well, frustration for Pep Guardiola. He needs to get a reaction from his players now. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back in business, the second half underway, and City trying to plot a route back into this one. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Havertz. And nothing comes of that attack. Jeremy Doku. Now Holland. Holland. Keep working away, looking for passing lanes. The cross is on. He's using his strength to good effect. Just knocked it out of there. And City coming away with it. Through ball from De Bruyne. Foden. Saka this might be ideal for the counter and it's Gabriel Jesus really close sweeping attacking play well they just couldn't finish off what would have been a great goal on the counter attack Walker. Holland. Walker now. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack. Marcinelli. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Kai Havertz. Very adept at holding the ball up in this manner. Still looking to get the shot off. And the danger is averted. Ben White. And here's Saliba. Declan Rice. And a good tackle. Holland and showing fine vision and that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer it's absolutely remarkable his reflexes were brilliant there a change in the offing for City and played short Grealish Foden the referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City well he might have been tempted to caution him but didn't Stuart yeah and I like that from the referee it's not a yellow card for me and with play stop they will make the change now an effective cross end at the back post but keeper's ball they'll be disappointed with that delivery good work from City to win back the ball 
And it's Gabriel Jesus. Holland. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And finally, up a cul de sac. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Plenty of support here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Nice weight on the pass. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, I love this finish. No messing about. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. That's a good goal. A magical moment for Arsenal fans everywhere. Your old club have just been crowned champions of Europe. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Arsenal, the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Well, the celebrations are ongoing. I don't think they're going to be brought to an end anytime soon as they save for the moment with their supporters. And they've certainly 